Okay, welcome to the platform uh, webinar uh, details here. And um, we're going to go through the um, uh, just a book map in, in, in general. Uh, what does it show you? Uh, the information that it is displaying and the levels of transparency it is offering. Uh, and uh, understand uh, how this gives you an advantage. All right, so. Um, let's start off here with the risk disclaimer. Trading equities and futures involves substantial risk of loss, is not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not indicative of future results. For those of you who are new, uh, and it uh, looks like a, a few new traders in the room uh, by looking at the, uh, the list here, uh, let me know uh, if you're new here and um, uh, ask away uh, any of the questions here. Uh, this is about covering the features and components and understanding them uh, in Bookmap, and what is, what kind of uh, market uh, details uh, it is showing you, okay? And then we'll take advantage of that as well. Okay, so uh, for those of you who are new, uh, go to bookmap.com for more information, become a member there. Uh, there's all sorts of free resources. Once you uh, are in trial, uh, you'll have access to those free resources, and you can always reach out to us at support at bookmap.com. All right, so let me show you the website here and we'll click on explore. Uh, there's a few intro videos here. So those of you who are new, uh, please watch the, watch those videos. They're very short. Uh, and then uh, let's scroll down here. And uh, this is, you, you will need um, to connect uh, Bookmap uh, with a data provider. Okay, we don't. Uh, we're not a data provider ourselves, so that that is something you will uh, will need. Uh, and this is uh, these are some of them. Uh, these are all of them uh, that we offer, okay, or that we connect to. Uh, so staged five trading, uh, they are actually a broker, but they offer uh, CQG, Rhythmic, and also Gain Capital. Okay, so uh, we also connect uh, to NinjaTrader through the API. Now Bookmap is different. Um, in a sense that um, although we can connect uh, through the API in NinjaTrader, we are a platform just like NinjaTrader. Okay, your NinjaTrader maybe you're powering it with CQG data or Rhythmic data or IQ feed, whatever it is. Bookmap is the same. You'll be plugging in uh, your credentials for your um, Rhythmic or your CQG or, or whatever uh, into Bookmap, and uh, you'll have it directly. Okay, so uh, we also connect to the API with uh, TT, okay, TT X Trader Pro, uh, then the data provider, uh, IQ feed, interactive brokers. Now this is gonna go through the API of the Trader Workstation. Okay, we also have a web version that is through Tradevate, uh, connect directly with Transact Futures data. Uh, and then the Dev Experts and NASDAQ here uh, is for Bookmap for equities only. Okay, U.S. equities only. Okay, scroll down a little bit further. This is where you can find Bookmap, and you can start, sign up for a free trial. Okay, and you can. Uh, I would recommend it. Uh, it'll allow you access to the advanced webinar as well, uh, and um, uh, that is a good thing. Uh, then you we go through the advanced webinar, which will be in about 25 minutes. Uh, we look at the order flow. Okay, and the details in the market, and we uh, start to read that order flow in real time and anticipate price price movement. Okay, so that's what you get uh, as part of the free trial, uh, and um, uh, it's 14 days. Uh, no, uh, uh, yeah, no, no money is uh, is, uh, is required. You will need to put down your credit card, but it is not charged. And the um, there's two different versions here: basic and advanced. Okay, 49 per month and 99 per month. Uh, and uh, the uh, difference between the two uh, are the ability, one is the ability to trade from the chart, uh, which is a nice advantage, and the other uh, is um, uh, all of these add-on indicators, okay? So we have our own proprietary indicators looking at order flow uh, for the advanced version. Now, the package deal here of the basic and advanced, same ones as over here, uh, they are just packaged with the DX feed, okay? Um, the DX feed is what allows you access to U.S. equities only, okay? It's not for futures. It's only for U.S. equities. 
Uh, Scott, you are already in trial, so I will give you the um, uh, link to the uh, advanced webinar, okay? Uh, just reach out, uh, support at uh, bookmap.com, uh, and, uh, and I'll, uh, I'll give it to you. In fact, today is Thursday, uh, so um, uh, tomorrow, actually, uh, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll give you guys uh, a sneak peek of uh, the advanced webinar for Friday. Okay. All right. Good. <clears throat> uh, so that's where you can find Bookmap and give it a shot. Uh, and then uh, let me show you some of the other resources. Okay. You can follow us here on Twitter and get up to date information. Uh, you can also subscribe to our YouTube page here. Uh, and um, uh, there's the features and components to get a feel for what Bookmap is and what it offers. Uh, uh, and then um, there's these order flow uh, video snippets here that just cover a lot of the content that we go through in the advanced webinar, all right? But uh, these are very concise two to three minute videos that cover that phenomena that we un uh, that unfolds uh, in, um, uh, in the marketplace, okay? All right, we have some selected webinars. This is new. Not every webinar will be listed here. Uh, and um, uh, these will be selected webinars for you. And then we also have a, a Futures Trader 71, uh, an expert trader, uh, professional trader for, uh, what does it say, 14 years. I think it's been more than that, um, 16 years. Uh, and um, uh, he is a Bookmap user as well. Okay, so you might want to watch how he uses Bookmap uh, to get some insight. Okay. So that's that. Uh, let's see. Um, well, let's jump in and uh, take a look at Bookmap and uh, what exactly is it? Okay. Well, we were looking at crude yesterday and uh, saw some pretty good price action and we're seeing it yet again and I'm looking for extension to the upside here. We're right by the figure here at 47 even. Uh, and uh, let's uh, start off here very, very simply. Uh, and uh, and then we're gonna add layers of information uh, here to the chart, but we're gonna start with a simple candlestick chart, okay? And I'm just gonna take off all of this other information for now, okay? So this is a five minute candlestick chart, okay? In between each vertical dotted line here is 15 minutes, as you can see in the timeline. Okay, and so this is 5, 10, 15 minutes. Each one is 5 minutes. Uh, and um, candlesticks, uh, most of us are very familiar. That's why I'm starting off with this. And it is showing us 5-minute period of price activity with an open, high, low, and close. Only 4 data points. There is a lot more here that we're not seeing uh, in a candlestick chart. Okay. Uh, we don't know where the where the traders are committed. Okay, we don't know uh, where the volume took place on this candlestick, uh, and that's going to give just crucial insight uh, to um, uh, the commitment uh, of uh, the, these traders, where they transacted. We want to know how much volume, where on the candlestick, and we also want to know what type. Right, this is going to give us tremendous insight here. Okay, so let's start to layer and turn some of that on. Okay, whoops. I'll start off actually with just best bid, historical best bid and offer, all right? Uh, and um, uh, that's the way we display the uh, uh, information here in Bookmap. It's giving you raw, pure data here of historical best bid and offer. And why do we like it? We like it because it is it's truly the market. This this is the market. Uh, looking at historical best bid and offer, uh, there's there's nothing here uh, being hidden, uh, and we're going to add more information on this chart, and you'll see what I mean. Uh, but now, uh, what what uh, I like about this so much is look at some of the microstructure. Look at some of the structure up here. It's completely lacking in this candlestick. There's a little bit of consolidation right in this area up here, okay? Above the swings here. We see a pretty quick breakthrough here, okay? Well, sometimes you don't see that. Sometimes you, you'll see a, a lot of volume trade through here and then the breakthrough. Uh, or you see maybe a lot of uh, basing down here and then a breakthrough to the upside, okay? So we're getting a feel for 
what consists uh, or what occurred uh, in the structural microstructural areas here within this five minute period. Uh, it's already giving us a lot of insight. Now let's turn on the volume and see where the volume took place within those little microstructures. Okay, and we can now clearly see that this candlestick here, the majority of the volume took place up in these areas up here at the high. Okay, uh, we're looking for higher highs. Okay, just based on this information here, we're already getting insight. Uh, we see the, the, the breakout here. Look at the volume that picked up. And we're coming right to it right now. Okay, and we'll see if the uh, the buyers are going to be interested uh, where we broke from. Basically, you can see the initiated buying occurred here. So I imagine uh, you're going to see some either some covering uh, or you're going to see some, uh, uh, again, the buyers supporting this area here. We'll, we'll come back to it in real time here. Uh, but um, uh, just note that for now, and we'll see who, who's winning the battle here. Um, but um, uh, the the data that uh, uh, we're showing here uh, in the volume uh, is giving you a lot of insight here. Okay, we're, we're starting to understand now where traders are committed, uh, and uh, that's completely lacking in this candlestick chart. Okay, so let me uh, click on the hand tool, and I'm going to zoom into this area. Okay, and uh, let me uh, actually bring down the volume dot size here. Okay, it's a little little big for my taste. Okay, okay. So here's our five minute period. Okay, each one is now divided with a vertical dotted line of a minute. Okay, so look at the look at the details here. Historical best bid and offer and the volume. Okay, so we have pressure here, buying pressure coming in right at this right at this point here uh, around this uh, uh, 74 area, uh, and then uh, and then you can see another uh, the a little bit of basing here and another and uh, just initiated buying coming in here. Okay, uh, green dots pulling price to the upside here. Uh, now uh, let's zoom into this little area here just by clicking on the move tool. Right, hovering over here and then zooming in quickly with my center mouse wheel, you're going to note how uh, I start to break apart all of this trading activity, and we really get a feel for what exactly occurred here. Okay, uh, this is outside. We got a little bit of uh, latency here, uh, but um, uh, let me. Uh, I want to show an example. This looks pretty good right in here. Okay, so this is what really occurred uh, in the market. Uh, you can see the uh, historical best uh, bid here, green, and then best offer, red. Now, a green dot is an aggressive market buy order. Someone crossed the spread. Uh, they hit the market buy button. Uh, they paid up for it. Um, they paid the spread for that. Uh, and they took liquidity from the best offer. And this, this green dot uh, is then displayed here. Okay. Now, it's the opposite for a red dot. That's an aggressive market sell. Okay. So we're recording uh, every single individual uh, event that took place here. Okay. Now we can continue to zoom in, uh, and you'll see we're down at millisecond level here, so thousands of seconds. Uh, and uh, if I hover and zoom in to this little area, note how what really occurred here uh, is uh, we break up this one dot into when we can start to see some algorithmic activity here. Okay, like right here. Okay, uh, and um, not the not the greatest example. A lot of times we'll see uh, very very clearly. You'll see three uh, events take place: space, another three events, space, another three events, etc. Okay. Anyway, uh, my point is, as I zoom back out now, okay, we're consolidating just visually. Uh, we are aggregating. Okay, all, all of the um, trading events are here, market events. But as I zoom back out, uh, I'm compressing that timeline, and all of these little trades are going to um, uh, be aggregated into a bigger dot. All right, so it depends on the time frame that you trade. And as I continue to zoom out, note how so many trades took place here. The best way to describe it is through this pie display. And we're showing that the majority here, of that trade activity here was aggressive buying. Okay, it's mostly green. Two thirds of it green, a third of it is red. 
Now, if you want the exact numbers, you can click on the rollover tool here and we can hover over this and we get the date, the time, what was on the bid at that point, uh, and then the volume uh, as well. So we see 235 contracts uh, is what traded within this dot. Okay, if I zoom back in, note how uh, I, I get all of the uh, individual uh, volume here. So this dot is 40 trades or, or f four, 40 contracts. As I break apart all of those little, uh, um, uh, all of that trading flurry, uh, you can see that uh, it's 12, uh, 12, one and 11, all right? Okay. All right, so that's the volume. Uh, now uh, let's get into the uh, the heat map, okay? Because and, and let's take a look here. Uh, what exactly unfolded here? All right. Well, we broke down below. Okay, so initiated buying. They did not uh, uh, come back in uh, and uh, support this area. In fact, this is going to be we're getting a retest of this area right now. Okay, and. Um, uh, let's see if uh, uh, the buyers are, uh, they, you know, are, are interested at this point. I imagine we're going to see the sellers support it here at this point. Okay. So uh, we'll keep a note, an eye on it though. Now, how, how can we start to judge this uh, current market activity? Well, uh, we want to see where the traders are lined up uh, to bid and offer uh, in the limit order book. And we usually do that through the dome. All right, uh, and here's our dome and book map. It's right here in this column, the COB column. And uh, I have a couple COB columns. One is graphical with bars as a histogram, and the other one is numeric, okay? What it's showing here is uh, the best bid and offer right here, and then you see the depth on the, uh, on the bid and the depth on the offer. So I can see now where traders are lined up to, to deal. Okay, that's really insightful. These are areas uh, where, uh, you know, there's liquidity and the market can trade up there. Uh, so um, uh, it, it's uh, very insightful to have that current information in a dome. However, the problem is here that uh, when these numbers change and they're changing constantly, adding and pulling liquidity at these price levels, the problem is that once, uh, once that area changes, uh, then we lose that that data, okay, and um, uh, and then it's uh, uh, yeah, we ha we will have to just recall and remember uh, where it was. <coughs> so that's the problem with the dome, and it's rather hard to read and remember uh, the dome by doing that all day long, and it's very taxing. Uh, now, uh, how Bookmap solves that issue is I'm going to turn on the heat map. Okay, and um, now uh, what we're looking at, and let's just cover this little window right here because this is the current market. It's just the graphical representation of it here. Okay, we have uh, the best bid and offer here, and then this number is the last traded volume. And then let's zoom in here a little bit. Okay, and then note the, uh, the heat map, okay, uh, the uh, grayscale here. Okay, when this liquidity changes, uh, then the heat map will change. Okay, so areas that are really bright is very high liquidity. Okay, areas that are a little bit darker are less liquidity. So here's 125 contracts versus 165 contracts here. All right, so that's uh, that's how to understand and read the heat map. Now, where this gets interesting and where the, where this can help you <coughs> is to um, we take this data here. It's recorded and then transposed onto the chart. Okay. So, for example, uh, this this little area here, uh, we were just watching, <clears throat> and we saw pretty high liquidity, and then they're adding and pulling it. Okay. Let's zoom in a little bit further. So, uh, this area here, look, if I ho hover over it, it says it's 133 contracts, and then this little darker area it went down to 93, and then it went back to 149 and then it went back to 109. So they're adding and pulling liquidity. Now we have a record of the auction, uh, the intent of these traders at these levels, okay? Do they have the intent to trade or are they gonna pull that liquidity in the last moment, 
right? So now we can start to gauge that. Uh, and uh, we're seeing a lot of actually, to be honest, uh, a lot of wicked price activity right now in oil. Um, and um, uh, they're, they're really pushing and pulling it here. Um, but um, uh, I'm looking for a phenomena we call flipping of the book uh, as we, uh, we broke down, okay, uh, through, let's see here, let me draw in, okay, remember how I, I originally said, um, well, there was two areas, right here and right here. Okay. And this is where that initiated buying really started. Was was right right around here, as you can see the green dots pulling the price price upwards. Okay. Now in this area here, I was starting to an anticipate. I was looking for buyers to step back in and support this. Okay. They did not. Not at all. I mean, we went clear through it. Selling just continued to uh, uh, hit the bid uh, pretty hard. Okay. So we went flying through that area, and now I'm looking for uh, in this area here uh, at 46.71 uh, for a return back to that area and see if those sellers are still engaged. Okay. And we can see that um, uh, they did not, uh, in fact. So this is kind of odd behavior. Usually they do. Uh, instead, we see the buyers continue to lift the offer uh, up into this area here. Okay. And uh, now, uh, what are we reading in the current market? Uh, we're I'm looking for the buyers to step back in here at like just right right where we are. You can see them them already providing high liquidity here at 46.75. Why is that? Because this is where that initiated buying started again. Okay, so are these guys now trying to drive price up and get into some of these areas up here around the figure at 47? That's what I would start to anticipate. All right, uh, and um, uh, we'll see. Uh, we've got a few more minutes until the uh, uh, advanced webinar, but uh, that's what I'm looking for at the moment. Okay, based on the order flow, based on some pretty pretty wicked stuff here. Uh, but um, uh, you know, uh, yeah, I, I just think that uh, uh, you know they'll they'll support price at this uh, uh, 46.75 level, uh, and uh, looking for this uh, 47 figure to finally get tested up here. All right. Okay, now this is just from uh, objectively uh, reading the order flow. Okay, starting to base base this uh, activity not on candlesticks, not on some indicator, not on some derivative of price, but the commitment uh, or the transactions where where traders are committed versus or combined with the intent of the traders. Okay, and the intent is here. Uh, in the limit order book. All right. So uh, we're really, truly, uh, and very objectively reading the market. We have all the market data here, and uh, we're we're reading that that raw data. There we go. There's our move into 47 right there. Okay. And that's what we started to anticipate based on the order flow here. All right. Okay, so uh, anyway, uh, it's uh, uh, you know it's not a crystal ball. Uh, it's just uh, it's just factual data, and we start to understand what's going on in the marketplace, and just very very objectively. Okay, and you can anticipate moves here. Now, uh, that's just putting all of these pieces together. Okay, and that's what we do in these advanced webinars. Okay, for the bookmap users, this webinar is for you guys to ask questions about the uh, uh, about the platform and uh, get comfortable with what kind of data is being displayed here and how you can use it um, or understand it, uh, and then weave this into your trading. Okay, because <clears throat> you can see here that uh, uh, let's uh, let's just start to take off some of this data yet again. Okay, let's take off the volume dots. Let's turn off the heat map. Okay, that's gonna be pretty hard to read. I I, I can't read that. Um, I, I couldn't read. I very clearly read this little area here, uh, and um, uh, based on the order flow, 
but uh, uh, this this candlestick here, and let's even take off the historical best bid and offer. Okay. Yeah, I mean, to me, it looks like clearly sellers are in control here uh, based on the candle. And um, uh, I would start to anticipate just on the candlesticks alone uh, that, that continuation to the downside. You know, all of this would be trapped volume up in this area here. Uh, but uh, that's not what occurred. Uh, and in fact, we're, we're still, uh, we're above the, the figure here at 47 now, okay? And still, still continuing to advance, all right? All right, guys. Well, um, now I want to cover uh, just have a, a minute or two here, uh, just a few things because there's it takes a while just to understand the heat map and the volume uh, because uh, there's a lot going on here uh, in this platform. Okay, we have all sorts of data columns here. Uh, we can look at a volume profile here. Uh, we have another volume profile. I could look at a trades counter. I could look at a quotes counter. Uh, I could look at quotes delta. Uh, I can make custom notes uh, in these columns. You can uh, you can take this data and you can uh, move it around. Uh, it, really, it's it's just highly customizable. Um, and uh, you can format this uh, column. You can split out the data. Okay, the trade data here, uh, or you can have it in the uh, uh, as numbers, bars only, numbers only, uh, et cetera, okay? Or have it as a profile like I do here, all right? Okay, so uh, anyway, the uh, that's the just the columns, and that's an extremely brief uh, overview of the columns, okay? Another uh, aspect here, uh, another feature, uh, we have a uh, indicator panel, sub-panel here, uh, and I'm looking at the cumulative volume delta, okay? So um, that's a, another uh, feature that we have here. Uh, another one yet is um, we have the, um, let's click on automated strategies up here, okay? There's a few that come with bookmap, uh, chase, escape, and execute. Uh, these are uh, algorithmic, uh, well, they're, they're little algos that uh, will help you with your, uh, optimizing your um, uh, trade entries, okay? They look for very specific uh, imbalances in the limit order book uh, to justify uh, your position or your um, uh, decision to either go long or short, All right? So, um, uh, you know, we don't have time to go over uh, that, but um, uh, this is, uh, uh, there's just lots of levels here to uh, to look at. All right, so um, uh, you can uh, reach out to us at support at bookmap.com and uh, happy to uh, to go through uh, any of this stuff with you guys. Uh, in the meantime, I would recommend if uh, you want more of an overview of the features and components, start here. Uh, start up the YouTube page at uh, bookmap 6.0 overview, maybe then watch the 5.0 overview, uh, and then some of the other smaller ones here, or you can just even open up the uh, playlist completely, uh, and you'll see the list of all of the uh, uh, different um, uh, features and components within Bookmap. Okay, and this is also just an abbreviated list, to be to be quite honest. Uh, so we just have lots and lots of features and components here. All right, guys, thanks for coming. Uh, and um, uh, Scott, I'll get you uh, a link for the uh, uh, for the uh, advanced webinar that starts right now. All right, thanks, guys. Bye, bye.